Hey guys, thanks for uh, joining me uh, this evening. It's about, uh, gosh, 11.45. I was just sitting on the couch uh, not too long ago, and I was uh, thinking, this ju this uh, thought just came to my mind, and I was thinking, wow, this should probably be the first mod that anyone should do to a 1970 to 1981 F-Body. And the reason why I'm bringing this up is, at this point, these cars are 40, 50 years old, and a lot of stuff is deteriorating, and this is probably the first thing that I believe anyone should do on a Camaro or Firebird or even Nova of this era. So let's look at it right here. <clears throat> so what we have here is, uh, this is my 1979 Trans Am. I haven't really done too many. I, I haven't really done too many videos on this car, uh, but one I have done. It's been a little bit of a project here. So, anyways, let's get into what I was uh, talking about. So, on these cars, you have your frame, and with with the subframe here, uh, this subframe basically goes from this is your core support where your radiator is. We'll kind of dive under the car here a little bit and then right under the seat is where this frame goes. Now in these cars these frames are actually bolted on with rubber bushings and yeah they may all work fine for stock cars but with a lot of the guys that are doing performance stuff these days and you know, nicer tires and, you know, a lot of things that we do nowadays, um, you really should stiffen up the body of these cars. Uh, it's a good idea to just lock it in place. Uh, and the way we do this with these cars is we get what's called aluminum solid body mounts. So here is a typical frame position or uh, core support position for your body mounts. Now these body mounts are the same here and then one of the the pants so or the, the floor port seat pan um so it's kind of crazy to think about it but your whole your whole suspension your wheel your tire your engine transmission all is bolted to this frame and if you think about it in two separate pieces it's like wow this whole heavy portion of the car or the whole you know engine trans powertrain is kind of separate from the whole body so when you switch these rubber mounts to s solid aluminum here here and here and the last one there's actually one two three four four bolts and four body mounts that literally hold the whole front of your car to the body section <laughs> so to make everything solid and just you know kind of lock the frame into the body it does you know wonders for these cars as you know as far as minimizing flex and you know even lowering noise levels for the car so anyways yeah i wanted to go over that this is uh something that i think a lot of people at this point in time these cars if you haven't done it it's time to do it because you know when you when you got this body mount here you know this little puck if you will made out of rubber and it's 40 50 years old man these things just deteriorate the the bolts rust from all the flex and it's just it's not good so yeah you can get these, uh, you know, I'm not sponsored by anyone, but you can get these from Detroit Speed. Ride Tech has a aluminum and slash Delrin version. The ones I own are for, from Pro Touring F-Body. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, check it out. Solid mounts. So, yeah, it's cool, you know, if you think about it, you know, if this is, if this is rubber... And you got rubber, you know, mounts here. You know, this technically can flex. But once this is bolted down, it's just, you know, it's locked in place. 
this thing is, you know, not going nowhere. It's flex. It technically actually become the core support, like, ties into the frame at that point. So that's uh, one thing to think about. So anyways, I uh, hope you guys have a good night. It's, uh, it's almost midnight here, and I just had this, you know, idea come to my mind for making it video. So... I'll I'll go over uh, in the future on um, more install points and you know the process and maybe I'll uh, go over some paperwork on my kit but uh, yeah we'll talk to you soon thanks have a good day.